Jeremy Grant with the re-up. A new five-year, $160 million deal with the Portland Trailblazers for the Clutch Sports client. You won't hear me say this much this offseason, but this will be the first time I say this is a bad deal for the Portland Trailblazers. They have a lot of question marks surrounding their franchise right now. Number one being the future of Damian Lillard. And I like Jeremy Grant. He got off to a really good start last year. But to me, he feels like a fourth option on a contending team, giving him over 30 million a pop. I mean, presumably you could trade him in the future, but not year one of this deal. I think this is a very bad deal for the Blazers who give a lot of money to a guy that I don't believe can be a one, two, or three on a championship contending team. Shout out to Jeremy, though. He got the big bag. Now, this is what you call a first day free agency shocker. Bruce Brown took the bag from the Indiana Pacers, a two year, $45 million deal for the newly crowned NBA champion. That is a huge blow to the Denver Nuggets. The reality is they just ran out of money. They can't pay everybody. Bruce was a guy that had some rumors out there that he could potentially be a Laker. Other top tier teams would want his services around 12 to $15 million a clip. But clearly you see there was more money out there for Bruce. Go get the money. Over 20 million a year for a guy that had only made $15 million in his career total. Bruce Brown gets the bag with the Indiana Pacers. The Boston Celtics are giving their newly acquired big Kristaps Porzingis a new two year, $60 million extension. I think this is a big deal for Boston because to me, it shows you that they're kind of shifting gears in their ideologies at the top of their organization. The Celtics have been one of the four or five teams that you know to be a contender in the NBA over the last few years. But what have they been? They've been a team that has two really great players and a lot of really good players. You give Porzingis 30 million a year, you're running out of money. Jalen Brown's gonna want nearly 300 million in a new deal this offseason, most likely. Tatum around that number next offseason. Giving Porzingis 30 million a clip pretty much lets you know they are shifting from a team that had two great players and a lot of good players to a team that's gonna have three great talents. And it's just gonna be finding guys at the bare minimum to round this roster out because they're running out of cap. Draymond Green becomes the first domino to fall in 2023 free agency. He is returning to the Golden State Warriors, the place where he spent his entire career on a four year, $100 million deal, player option on the fourth year. For Draymond, it's always been important for him to finish his prime and probably the remainder of his career with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. And it appears that his agent, Rich Paul of Clutch Sports, has found a deal to just do that. Draymond back to Golden State on a deal that's pretty reasonable. If you look at what Green brings to the court, this dude is not only the Warriors' number one playmaker, he's also their number one defender. His IQ has always been on another level. Anything that he's lost in athleticism, Draymond makes up with his mind, and that mind will be back in Golden State as a warrior I think it's a good deal i really do i think draymond didn't try to break the bank i think the warriors didn't allow draymond to break the bank and i think what you're going to see a lot of this offseason is teams calling players bluffs we don't believe you'll go play in detroit we don't believe you'll go play in houston for a rebuild i think a lot of teams are like we know you comfortable in california let's not sugarcoat things let's not try to make things more difficult than it needs to be Let's find numbers that make sense. And for Draymond and what he's trying to do with his business off the court, his podcast, he's obviously in Silicon Valley, which will allow a dude like that, as smart as Draymond is, to get his hands and who knows all types of business. The Warriors were like, yo, we're not giving you 30, 40 million dollars a year. Stop it. You're averaging like eight points a game, but we are showing you that we value you at 25 million a clip. We traded Jordan Poole which obviously the Warriors clearly let it be known that despite Draymond hitting Jordan last training camp, they roll with their guy. And I don't know how much that played into Draymond, presumably taking about a $5 million discount. I believe he could have got about 30 million somewhere. I think Detroit would have gave Draymond a guy that's got Michigan roots. I think they would have gave him 30 million a year to help try to like usher in that new era of in Pistons basketball, they got a lot of young guys. They could use a vet like Draymond that ain't afraid to voice 
his displeasures anytime he sees fit or maybe swing when he doesn't agree with things. <laughs> I think for Draymond and the Golden State Warriors, it's a good deal. They maybe could have skipped him down to 20. I don't know, but you don't want to make a dude like that mad. You got your nucleus. And look, I was somebody that was high on the Golden State Warriors this past season. Clearly, I was wrong because my Lakers beat him up pretty vividly, if I can say so myself. It was a pretty uh, a pretty nasty beatdown for most of that six-game series. I believe for the Golden State Warriors, it was important for them to show their fans, yo, we're still in it to win it. And I believe they'll have a, a great opportunity to do that changing out Jordan Poole and bringing in Chris Paul. You had to keep Draymond though for that defense that definitely has some holes in it. The Warriors do that. Four years, 100 million. Welcome to NBA offseason 2023. You're in great hands with Hoops Pharaoh. There's no network behind me. There's no budget behind me. Just straight grind and Hoops talk. If you don't want to miss a beat this offseason from trades, free agent signings, and draft talk, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's run these numbers up. It's free 99 to show me that you support the grind. Let's go.